it's Jessica with Fantabulosity and the other day I did an unboxing video for you showing you the products that Lange sent to me. It was uh, this curling wand, the 25 millimeter titanium one, the salt and, uh, salt and sea texturizing spray which smells amazing, the Rival Heat Shield, the Deja Vu Dry Shampoo, the Grand Debut Root Booster, and the Three Way Hairspray. What I told you the other day was that uh, I, was, I would keep you posted on how I like it. Now, I haven't used this yet, and I was getting ready to use it, and I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and do a video of me using it the first time so we can all kind of experience it together. So my hair is wet. I haven't dried it yet, but the reason I started the video is because I'm going to be using the Root Booster on my damp hair, and then I'm going to dry it. So the directions for this is just shampoo, condition, and towel dry, shake well, hold can five to six inches from hair, mist into root. So just like any kind of root booster. And I took the lid off. I don't know if, there we go. Just has a little nozzle on it. And I'm gonna lift up. Whoa, that has some power. That's awesome. <laughs> my other kind doesn't have that kind of power behind the spray. I was probably holding it too close to my hair. Okay, and then I kind of just lift up like the top base of my hair and get it get it maybe here in the back in here. Remember, I am no hairstylist. So, hairstylist watching this, please don't cringe. I don't know what I'm doing. I have my root booster in. I don't know if I put enough, but I don't want to put too much just in case it like messes something up. Real quick, the only thing I'm not using today, well, I guess I could use it, the texturizing spray. Spray on damp or dry hair, finger dry or let dry naturally. For more fullness, diffuse with heat. Work on works on wet hair to create volume on dry hair for texture. So I do want to use this because this chick needs some volume in her life and it smells good. So again, I think I'm gonna like put it at the roots maybe, like like I just did the root booster. I don't, oh, okay, I immediately feel like, I know I just showered, but I feel like cleaner because I smell like that now. <laughs> The only reason I hesitated about using this salt and sea spray is because it said texturizing spray and I've used other kinds before and it made my hair feel so like thick and unmanageable. So I'm curious to see how that turns out. Okay, so I'm going to dry my hair and then I'm going to use the heat shield and then my curling wand. I'm not using the dry shampoo today. Uh, I'll be using the hairspray. But the dry shampoo is the only thing I'm not using today. Tomorrow, I will be using. Okay, so I'm going to dry my hair. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just dried my hair, and one thing I wanted to share with you is if your hair dryer has a cool setting on it, definitely use that after you get done drying. So I dry my hair with the, you know, the, the high heat or whatever because I'm a busy mom, and I want my hair dry as fast as I can because there's usually a kid knocking on the door or whatever. But I always finish with the cool setting and go over it when I'm done when it's dry because I've noticed that when I don't, my hair's frizzier, it just doesn't manage well, so shocking it with like that cool air helps keep it a little more tame, all right? So the next step is I'm going to grab the top layer, and you know what? I didn't even tell you what I'm styling today. I'm just gonna do my beach waves. If you've been following me for a while, you know the beach waves are typical for me on the days I fix my hair. Other days I just straighten it. But I just grab the top layer of my hair. Why am I out of breath? I'm out of breath. And I just clip it up out of the way because what I'm going to do is work with this first layer first. And another thing I want to share is I recently got my hair cut. So my hair was like down to here, like right under my, you know. And I really like my hair in beach waves when my hair is that length. I like it much more. So when my hair is shorter like this, although it's much healthier and looks so much undead, um, I don't like the beach waves as much because I, I'm one of those. I feel like it makes my face look fatter whenever <laughs> my hair is shorter. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so it's time to use the heat shield, the rival heat shield, and the directions say to spray all over hair before using heat activated styling tools. Oops, I was supposed to do that before my hair dryer. Oh well. To add volume at the base, lift hair and spray between layers. So this adds volume too. That's awesome. Okay, keratin infused chamomile extract locks out humidity. So that's awesome. So I'm probably doing this wrong, but I always put my heat shield all over. Oh, that smells so good. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of like the, I don't know, like, like the, not watermelon, but some kind of like cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works back in <laughs> middle school. But it's not, it doesn't even smell like that. It just kind of reminds me of that. Okay, anyway. So I've sprayed that on. I think I missed this part. Let's go ahead and give this a little love. 
All right. Now, don't make fun of my brush. I literally grabbed it like two years ago and it needs some help. Um, it's one of those wet dry brushes. So I'm going to let this dry on my hair. I didn't know that was a thing. So up until recently, I thought you were supposed to spray your heat shield on and then like curl it or straighten it while it was wet with the heat shield. But then I realized I'm, I don't again know what I'm doing when it comes to hair, but you're supposed to let that dry and then style it. So I'm going to grab this first hunk of layer here and if you don't have time to watch this or you just want to get straight to the regular Beach Waves tutorial, I do already have a blog post and video up on my YouTube channel of how to style Beach Waves with a curling wand that I have used for years. Okay, but for this one we're specifically talking about the launch products because I want to test it out. Alright, so for this first strand my uh, curling wand has been preheated and I start here and with this first piece I curl it backwards so the girl who taught me to do this is amazing she's my hair and makeup stylist whenever I have photo shoots or whatever and she told me this that I need to curl it away from the face the for that first strand now what I do is I wrap it around and I leave this bottom part straight sorry I knew that was gonna be hot so I had to go ahead and remove it while I was talking. I leave that bottom part straight because that's the kind of idea behind the beach wave. So you're kind of wanting it to have a, a loose wave and then the bottom part kind of be straight and I don't know. I see I'm not, a, I'm not a hairstylist so I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But that's what I do. So I'll show you again on this one. Now this one, I curl it under, all right? And the reason for that, the reason I alternate is because I don't want them curling the exact same way and then mesh together and like unite because that's not what I want. I want multiple loose waves instead of like big hunks of the same wave, okay? So this one, I'm going to do under. So I'm going under the hair instead of like first one when I went up, all right? So I start there and I wrap it around and I don't overlap and then I leave that pop top part or that bottom part straight and then I hold it as I pull the curling wand out to kind of lock in that curl. Now with this being a brand new curling wand, this sucker is going to be performing at its finest. So like the old one I've been using for a long time, I hold it in longer than that because it doesn't have as much juice. So I don't hold it on very long at all because I prefer more of a beach wave. Alright, so the next strand, I brushed it and since I went um, away from my face for the first one to my face for the next one I'm going away from my face so it's just an alternate now do I do that everywhere all over my head no because I either forget what I'm doing or I lose count and sometimes I mix it up but that's okay the, the kind of idea behind beach waves is that it's not perfect so that's okay all right so there's that one the next I'm doing the back so it's kind of hard to do it in the back the first few times you do beach waves, but don't get discouraged. Now I'm going to see if I can turn around. What I do, I did, now that I'm talking, I can't keep straight what I'm doing. I need to go under for this one. <clears throat> so hopefully I'm on camera. And I'm just going to wrap it around, hold it straight, and then pull it out. Hold it there for a second and let go. I have no idea if you even just saw that or if that worked because I can't see it. All right. So moving on to the other side. Now here... When I reach like the back middle, I go ahead and start in the front here and I work my way that way. So this first strand, I'm going to do the thing I did a while ago again with doing it away from my face, okay? And what I want to tell you, oh boy, that baby curled good. What I want to tell you is when you're wrapping it with your wand, I like to hold it this way so it kind of does it at the angle unless I'm working on these pieces and then I keep it straight. Don't ask me what difference that makes because I just remember <laughs> the girl that taught me how to do this a few years ago said something about that. So I haven't stopped doing it, although I don't remember why I do it. Okay, so I went away from my face, so I'm going to my face. I don't overlap my hair if I can help it when I'm wrapping it around the curling wand. And I also want to mention that my hair curls really well. So I want you to keep that in mind. If you have trouble keep getting curls, getting waves or whatever, um, that could play into a factor in what tool you're using too So and how long you hold it in. So I don't hold mine in very long because my hair curls super quick. And it actually holds curl. My, my curls actually look better 
the day after my beach waves do it's weird all right so i'm going away from my face here oh i can hear it sizzling whoop i didn't hold that one. Oh well see that's what i like about beach waves it's never the same and it doesn't have to be perfect all right i probably could do that one again but oh well all right and this is just the bottom layer so who cares right nobody's really going to see it all right so you can see i'm holding it straight across and then i'm holding it and letting it go and there we go all right now something i do when i'm doing my my hair normally is I put on a, like a styling cream to kind of really work the curls through, but I didn't get anything like that from them. I probably don't need it because of maybe the heat shield, heat shield and the texturizing spray, but I don't like change a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put my polish on and smooth it out. So I just use like a little dab of polish and I rub it between my fingers and it just kind of helps. I don't know. I don't know I don't even know how to explain it but it just kind of keeps them look more put together less flyaways things like that so although I may not have needed it I can't help but do it so I just use a polish for that not very much I don't want it to look greasy sometimes I don't even put it up here until the very end so most of the polish has been used and don't flip out if you say Jessica you just made those curls and now you're running your fingers through it that's okay for my hair it's okay because I want the curls to be knocked out some. Now it's time for the second layer. So I'm going to need to do the heat shield again. And what I'm going to do is brush this top layer here and then get my heat shield and spray that sucker. All right. So isn't this beautiful? So now I'm going to grab the pieces that haven't been curled. And I'm going to grab a small piece, probably about, I don't know, that doesn't look like an inch, but I always think it's an inch, but it's not. Um, a very thin, a, a thin hunk. I don't know. Can you all see it? I mean, I say it's thin. It's thin that way, but not maybe not long ways. All right. Anyway, this one, I'm actually going to do an under here. I always do an under right here because it's not the piece by my face, and I don't want it to blend and spoon with the piece by my face if that makes sense sorry these random thoughts i have on my head all right and then i'm gonna get the other pieces that don't have curl some people you know clip up their hair and when I, when i'm getting my hair fixed or whatever i do notice that they clip up the hair they take a small piece down they clip it back up they take a small piece down i don't do that just because i like to find the quickest ways to do things <laughs> So if I can knock something out, I will. All right, now these, these pieces on top, I was saying I do them under. I actually do the top layer more under than I do away because it's just the top of my hair and I think it would look funny if I was curling it away from my head. So sometimes I do mix it up, but I do typically do more unders on the top because I want to place that curling wand as close to my scalp as I can without burning myself to give me that vo that volume that I really want. I really lack lack volume, so anytime I can do a little something extra to try and get that, I will. So you see here, sorry, I had an itch. I'm gonna go close to my head as possible. Sorry, I gotta look at my mirror. And then wrap it around, okay, hold it. Now these top pieces, I do hold a little bit longer than the bottom because it's like they aren't as curlable as the under layer. So what I'm doing is just looking for pieces that still need curled. And don't fret, my hair will not look like what it looks like now when I'm done because I'm gonna smooth it out again. Okay, so I'm just going in and getting these loose pieces, the pieces that look just god awful. Sometimes I think I grab pieces that I've already curled that have maybe fallen out or just didn't look good and that's okay. So kind of a recap on the top layer that I do first, I alternate away from my face, towards my face, away from my face. But this, this top layer or this, um, the second layer that I'm doing, which is actually the top. So sorry, I got that wrong. The first layer of hair that I do, I alternate. I do away from my face, towards my face. 
as I'm doing this and finishing off the top, I do a lot of towards my face because I want that volume. Unless some pieces are close to one another, and then I throw in a, an alternate curling direction as I go. Okay, so I'm towards the back there. Now time to move on to the other side. Getting hot in here and the heat just kicked on. All right. So like this one, definitely holding it close to my scalp. See, and I added that texture. You see that curl? That's what I like and that's what I wanna lock in. Now this next one to it, it is by it. So I may do, it is pretty close to it. So I may do the alternate direction. Ow, I burnt my wrist. That's why you wear the glove sometimes if you want. All right, we're gonna see what this looks. I'm kind of experimenting here. So I did this one away from my face and we'll see. Huh, okay. I mean, it worked, right? I guess you'll see it worked whenever we get done here. Okay, I'm gonna go under, placing it against my head as close as I can without burning the heck out of myself. Hold it kind of straight across. That was a big hunk, so I held it longer. Okay, and then here's this. I think this may be the last piece. Brush through it, get all the crappies out. All right, now if you're watching this going, how does she do that? How does she do it so fast? Like, how do I wrap it around the curling wand so fast? It takes a lot of practice. I've been doing beach waves for, I don't know, four years, three years maybe. And so when you do it, as much as I do it, over and over again, it gets easier. See this little random piece here? I just, it needed some curl, so I just did it. And it'll blend in as soon as I get it all. Okay, so I think I got it. I'm going to turn around. You can see, but I can't. So I think I got it all. And that's where I get my polish again. Just a little dab, rub it between my fingers. And I'm going to rub it all through. Now I have not turned off my curling wand yet because sometimes I go through and do this and I'm like, oh, there's a piece I missed or that one's curl fell out or this one just needs a little different spin on it or something, so. In my opinion, first things first, I don't like my hair with beach waves when it's this short, but that's expected. I've, I said that at the beginning of the video. Second, I'm digging the curling wand, for real. I'm digging it. I really like it. It was, it curled really fast. Um, what I especially like about this one, more than the one I've been using for years, is that the other one I have has this weird like plastic part on it and my hair gets caught in it when I'm unspiraling my hair and then it like pulls it apart and it's such a pain and I thought well I guess that's just part of a curling wand it has to be like that it doesn't because this doesn't have that and I also like how this thing spins with you so you're not getting tangled up in the cord it's hot it curled quickly it was easy to use so am I a fan yep uh, do I think it's worth the price it depends on what price you're paying um, if you use my link that they've given me to share with you, it's my affiliate link. So if you do buy something through it, I could get a commission from it. But what's also cool about that link is that they are giving you 50% off of this thing. And I think normally it's like 120 something dollars, but they're giving it to you for 50% off with my link. So that's pretty nice and pretty cool of them. So they're giving you a discount and they're giving me a commission for talking about them. So that works out pretty good. Like a win-win for us, right? And a win-win for them too because they're selling their products. All right, so the last thing I wanna use is the hairspray. And I don't know what this smells like and sometimes that is a big deal. All right, so there's that little contraption. Now, normally I wouldn't hairspray this because I don't want the curls to be this curly. I want them to fall out some just because I want them looser than that. But that's not because of the curling wand, it's because that's how my hair is. It's always too stinking curly on day one. So I like it much better on day two. All right, so let's get this. Well, I can say though the volume is there, is it not? Jeez, that's awesome. All right. Mmm, that smells good. Oh, I got some in my eye. That does smell good. That's the main reason I wanted to use it. Oh, 
oh, I choked on it because I was talking. <laughs> All right. Yes. I like it, don't you? Do you like it? I like it. Woo woo! So, do I recommend the Lange Curling Wand? Yep. Do I recommend getting it with my discount? Yep. Do I recommend their products? Yeah, because I'm digging the volume. Uh, I'm digging the, the smell of everything. The Root Booster apparently works. The Heat Shield smells amazing. And I haven't tried the Dry Shampoo, but you better believe I'm using it tomorrow because I'm not doing this again for a day or so because I like the way my beach waves, beach waves, beach waves, beach waves look the next day. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. And I'll put the link in my description that is my referral link to get you the 50% off. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.